everyone welcome to this update video i really hope that you have been enjoying your weekend thus far now we're going to be talking about what is going on out there there's a new massive plume of dust which made its way from the sahara desert in africa recently and that is blanketing parts of the continent as well as the canary islands and the cabo verde islands as well now, some of this is going to be reaching the Caribbean as we head into the early part of the new week, and I'm going to delve into those details later down in this video. In addition, we'll be talking about a front which is moving down, and that is going to be resulting in an increase in rainfall across parts of the Caribbean and Central America, as well as those below average temperatures. So let us get straight into it. Now, here we are taking a look at the infrared satellite. And we are seeing that for uh, for the U.S. Let's zoom into the U.S. We can see this line of these thunderstorms, those white dots, they indicate lightning strikes. So uh, there was even a message from the Storm Prediction Center earlier that states a few severe storms are possible this afternoon over parts of Alabama and the Florida Panhandle. Isolated strong to severe storms may extend into East Tennessee and the Western or Central Carolinas. So that was issued earlier and uh, that goes through this afternoon and potentially into tonight as well for those areas. And with that, of course, there's the rainfall, but also those damaging winds are possible or even a few tornado sightings as well. So stay safe if you're being affected by this, guys. Now let's head to the Caribbean and it is a completely different story. We're not seeing any major convective activity, just these cloud patches moving by, which have been resulted in quite a bit of rain across portions of the windward islands, for example. Example, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, St. Lucia as well, and that pattern is going to continue. So it's been the pattern and it is likely to persist for some time. Now let's look at the rainfall forecast for the rest of today. We're seeing that the Gulf is quite colorful again. There's all that activity moving through that front is going to be moving down so that uh, these rainfall totals are going to be shifting further south. But then for much of the Caribbean region, it is unlikely that there's going to be any crazy rainfall that's to be widespread. Those passing showers will likely continue across the southeastern islands and elsewhere. There could be a brief downpour here or there, but overall rainfall amounts for the rest of today are not expected to exceed an inch throughout the Caribbean. Similar story goes up toward the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands. But then for parts of northern South America, particularly for the Pacific coast or near the Pacific coast of Colombia, that area remains quite active. Elsewhere further inland, we're not seeing where too much is expected. And uh, it is the same case for the ABC Islands as we're seeing. Let's look at what GFS has to show in terms of that expected front. So these green shadings that we're seeing represent the precipitation rate. And there we have the forecast time. So let's see as we head out into tomorrow, there's that front moving out. And we're seeing those green shadings popping up across parts of Central America and even the Caribbean as well. So an increase in rainfall is possible for some areas with this front making its way down. And while things are going to be a bit cooler and uh, wetter in the north, it may be a bit drier in the southeast. Again, that massive uh, Saharan dust is likely to make its way through. We're going to be looking at it in a moment. Going on to that temperature anomaly map. So this is how much the temperature is expected to vary from what is typical. Those blue shadings indicate below average temperatures. Meanwhile, the yellows, the reds, oranges indicate above average temperatures. So behind that front, that massive cool air is expected to follow. This is the forecast for Monday. And by that time, areas such as the northern Bahamas, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, even over into Central America, may be experiencing that decrease in those temperatures, especially in those more elevated areas in the evenings. And as we head into Tuesday, we can see that this spreads even more into the Caribbean, including areas such as Jamaica, potentially the, Cayman, uh, the Turks and Caicos Islands, rather, and even over into Hispaniola. So that is what GFS is showing, and Euro is pretty much in agreement with this. This is for later uh, Monday evening, and they were seeing that cooler air coming down and spreading as we head into Tuesday. So models are pretty solid about that. And of course, I'll be keeping you guys posted on what is happening right through. And uh, there's also going to be a difference in the wind direction as well and the strength. So this is what Euro is forecasting for the next few days. Let's take a look at it. Again, that's the forecast time. We're seeing all these shades of purples and these blues indicating these winds over 20 knots, but maybe under 30 knots. It is expected to remain quite windy across much of the eastern and even the central Caribbean as well. But then as we head into Monday, things should calm down for 
uh, some of the islands in the north, such as parts of Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, even towards Hispaniola and, the, uh, and Puerto Rico as well. But in the wake of the front behind that boundary, we're seeing that those winds are kicking up yet again. And with that, those seas are also going to be getting a bit rougher, but things should eventually calm down. So this is the forecast for Tuesday of next week. In terms of the wave height, and we're seeing these green shadings, which represent those wave heights up to around six or even seven feet. But overall for the region, we're seeing mostly uh, these blue shadings. So anywhere from around one going up to three or even four feet in wave height. However, for the island of Bermuda, we're seeing that it gets a lot more colorful up there. So those wave heights could be well over 10 feet as that low pressure system is going to be making its way offshore the U.S. Now, the final aspect of this video, the Saharan air layer. So here we're looking at it as we're seeing these darker shades of browns that is indicating those areas of a lot more dust. So a lot of dust has made its way off Africa that is blanketing the Canary Islands and even the Cabo Verde Islands as well in parts of Africa itself. Let's look at the forecast for the next couple of days. So this is as we head into tomorrow, 5 p.m. There we're seeing that very dark brown shade. So a lot of dense dust within that area out there across the main development region headed towards the west then as we head into monday that is when it's really going to be reaching parts of northeastern south america so the guyanas and also parts of the southeastern caribbean such as trinidad tobago and the other windward islands barbados uh, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada. And as we head into Tuesday, we see that it extends even more into the Caribbean islands uh, for more of the Lesser Antilles and headed towards Venezuela, even near the ABC islands as well. So that massive dry air it is going to be making its way through. And how about the benefits of the dust? Well, it can contribute to soil fertility uh, for crops because it may contain some nutrients which are not readily available within a particular area. And also it can result in those more beautiful sunrises and sunsets as well. That's more the aesthetic side of things. But on the downside, it reduces visibility and also it can trigger those allergies so not very fun especially for those individuals who are very sensitive but uh, the dust is always there but it's just that at different times of the year it is more plentiful and in others it's not so uh, common it's more scarce so especially as we head into late spring going into early summer that is when we're going to have these more consistent plumes of dust moving across the atlantic towards the caribbean and the americas as well so that's what's happening guys that's the forecast. I really hope uh, that you found this video to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.